Let's get Dude. it. I, I wasn't playing. No, no. He was not playing. This is, listen. Did you see the part where these motherfuckers decided to back the truck into the man's business? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that stung, man. The dude was like, I'm right. already struggling. Now, this shit didn't cost me 20 listen, racks. In Berkeley, they got these little industrial areas and shit. Okay. Encampments, first of all, the encampments all up the highway. You got motherfuckers sleeping on the highway. Over here, they got a motherfucker who, who pulled his buggy up. He was sleeping on an overpass. These motherfuckers is everywhere. And if you see, like, they starting to clean that shit up. And if you see where they move people from, the grass is gone. There is no fucking grass. There's holes where there was fire pits and everything like that. And this is what I was trying to say. This is not the working poor. This is not the working poor. These are the uh, uh, non-working motherfucking drug addicts. And people tired of it, man. Those businesses, those businesses are struggling, especially over in that little industrial area. They got like a shredder place, some yeah. other places like that. These motherfuckers just pulled up RVs, parked they shit, and just dumping trash everywhere. Motherfuckers look like they selling pussy out of caravans and shit like that. <laughs> you know, I wasn't. <laughs> you would know better than me. Um, <laughs> you know, it is. You know, Tank get MIA once in a while. Like, yeah, I'm going right. to the store. I'm going to <laughs> right. I'm hey, going it's to just, man, store. like I said, I get people, I get people having righteous intentions and, um, you know, wanting to do right by other human beings, man, we need a lot more of that. Mm -hmm. But you can't do right by people who don't want to do right by themselves. I told you, they built the shelter out here. You got motherfuckers that build these little mini homes and all of that. That's not what they want. When you listen to the interviews, it's like, oh, you got some high motherfuckers scratching. Talking about, oh, they trying to hide us. Motherfucker, you, 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 you a fucking blight on everything out there. You know, and it costs taxpayer. It costs it costs taxpayers money to clean that shit up. It costs taxpayers money to relocate them. It's just, man. Yeah. You know, and my idea what to do with these motherfuckers might be extreme, but again, these aren't the working poor. These fucking criminals, man. Yeah, they homeless. I mean, what you said? I huh? saw them. Old buddy said he f he found yeah. the truck not too far away from him. You know, a couple miles away from his uh his place of business. Right. And he was like, "Yeah, you know, it didn't cost me twenty thousand right. dollars." That he said he he didn't have. I was like, "Oh man, yeah, that was that was just bad all the way." Right, around. man. I mean, but what do you do? With he was people? like, "I don't feel, I don't feel what safe." Do, what you said, "What do we do with them?" What do you, what do, you do with these people? Okay, so I mean, this is this is a problem that the system has created. The system needs to clean this up. So the system created these drug addicts. Yes. Yes. Uh, no. No. Pills. No. No. On tell, bro. No. Listen. Listen. They did that with our community. Now, I have I have yet mm -hmm. to hear about any government fucking any Cointel Pro that was putting that shit in those white neighborhoods. Those Italians weren't about that shit. Those Irish weren't about that shit. The shit just happened across over into their neighborhood because you had motherfuckers slumming in our shit. That shit. Now, if you want to say, yeah. now it's an issue. Yeah, I'm just saying, man. Now it's an issue because there you of go. opioid. Addiction. Now it's an issue, but before when when there crack smacked, yeah, they right. gave two and, shits. And, you know what I mean? But now it's absolutely. an issue. And Dave Chappelle, I'm sorry to cut you off. Dave Chappelle, he wrote a right, whole baby. joke about that. He had a whole bit in his last stand up where he said this eerily reminds me of a time in the eighties when nobody cared. Yeah. And you know, furthermore, he said, I don't care either. He said just, just say, say no. no. You know, he said now. <laughs> Right, he what said. He now said. we realize that those people back then may have just had problems. Now, what I can say is this: there is a conspiracy. There's that fentanyl conspiracy. There is a fentanyl conspiracy. All of these doctors taking payoffs from these pharmaceutical companies to give people fentanyl that they don't even fucking need. Okay, but what I'm saying is this: motherfuckers make their own choices in their in, in their life. That's what they said about us, and that's what I'm saying about them. If these these motherfuckers are indulging in criminal behavior. That's what this shows. That's what this shows. So why not lock them the fuck mm -hmm. up? If these people want to feel the prison so fucking bad, why go after young black men for sagging their pants? 
for misdemeanors and, 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 and putting time on them that they're not even putting on motherfucking murderers and molesters. Lock these motherfuckers up. I got you. Like the disparity between crack Come on and now, cocaine. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They go ahead and uh, apply right. that force. Right. To, you know, these uh, these folks who don't want right. to seek help. You know what I mean? I get what you're saying. It's those, you know, these are the, you know, the there bottom feeders, the ones who don't want to seek help. You know, so yeah, it was like either, you know, you go to treatment or something or you go to jail. Right. And Cuddy, look, you got to do something, but you can't be right. out here. You know, not like that. This is only, this is a stepping stone. You're not going to make a home right. out of this. You know, this isn't going to be a lifestyle. Either you go get treatment or you go, you're going to go to a uh, lockup. And you just gonna right. have to knuckle. And, 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 and Cuddy, let me say this. I'm not saying that you're wrong. You are right about some of these people. Case in point, I walked up on a dude who was the working poor. He was he there, you know, they got these little ventilation shafts and shit. Or these little departments yeah. where they keep the electric meters. I went in there to read the meter. It was a brother sleeping on the floor at this little medical place. I said, say, man, you 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 okay? He was like, Yeah, man, I'm just taking a nap. Dude was homeless, but he did work. I talked to him for a minute. Shit, I stopped my work to go. I went and bought this dude a meal. I come back to give it to him. He he had already left. I think he was worried about me saying something. But I went and bought him a meal. Mm-hmm. That's why I know what this is is different. This this ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Now, where it is political is this. This is the political thing. Gavin Newsom's ass was about to be recalled, as we know he didn't. But one of the promises he made, if he didn't get recalled, was to clean the shit up. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Oh no! Oh no! They're Let me tell you something. It's some areas where it looked like fucking dumps. Like all along, if you it used to be where you can drive going towards San Francisco, see all this beautiful water and the green grass and all this shit. Man, that shit gone. It looked like somebody shit everywhere. You got volunteers out there cleaning up. Word up. They got big ass signs. Volunteer clean up right here. Oh, what was that? They said they, they said they got an app for when you take a uh, what is it? Oh, it's a catchphrase or whatever where you take a picture of the app or the shit and somebody come get yeah. it. You could report it or whatever. I forget the name of it. And truck, truck, man, jump jump in, man. You 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 part of the show, man. Jump in with your opinions anytime, man. You know, I, I yeah, know, yeah. I know that I know how I come off. I know, I, hey, <laughs> my, bro, my brothers know me. Young truck know me. I'm, I could be a raw motherfucker, but what I'm saying is, man, you know, the the the, the middle class. I was watching, I was watching the T. Wanda Johnson shit. I said, I don't know if I sent you, brother, the video, and that shit, was right? Funny. And what he said about the. Yeah. Uh, about the motherfucking middle class was essentially what George Carlin said back in the nineties. How the the poor are just there to scare the shit out of the middle class, so they don't stop working. But everything is on the backs of the middle class. So now we getting taxed even more to clean a bunch of motherfuckers up who don't want to do nothing but get high, and and it causing all kind of crime and shit. The crime. The crime rate rate went up in every one of these areas, and then you got motherfuckers that don't live in the same place sitting up there talking about, "Oh, ain't nothing wrong. Leave them alone. Where they supposed to go? Well, let them go in your neighborhood, but they don't want that shit. They don't want that shit. It, you know, it's wild, man. You know, but I don't want to keep harping on it. I mean, how do you feel about uh, these statistics to say that most of these people are fucking bets? How do I feel? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean you're bad. You're bad. If, if, if the majority, the majority of these homeless people are, are veterans, veterans of the military, of the military and, they and they may be suffering from drug addiction, drug addiction or, or mental, mental illness, illness or both, or, or, or just, or just victims, victims of circumstance. I mean, we've gone through a year and a half of a pandemic, and a lot, and a lot of people got put out. You know, you know, and, it and it wasn't the best times for everybody before that. that. You know, so, you know, so a lot of it, you know, if, if the, majority the majority of these problems are people that are very much like you in background, early background, I guess. But I mean, I mean, you don't feel any compassion for people that I mean, I mean, this could have been any of, any one of us. You know what I mean? 
Did a stint, did a stint in the military, military come out with a little bit of uh, PTSD, PTSD find, yourself find yourself on the streets because you, you don't get along with, with everybody. everybody. Now you're home. Now you're home. You want to be alone. Yeah. 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 Before I respond, Cuddy, I think it's something wrong with your mic. It's like a little echo. Okay. Okay. Um, it's, it's feeding off, it's feeding there you off go. trucks. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Picking up both mics. Okay. So. Let me say this. You got a, you got a, you got a point there. And I understand. But let me, let me, let me, I was about to say something. Let me say this. I get it. I understand that, that there are, there are those vets who have those issues. Okay. And a lot of people aren't aware that they have some problems. My thing is this, mm -hmm. the VA has ample amounts of resources for those people. Okay. You can't go out and round everybody up and make them stay there. It's not going to happen. But what I'm looking at and what I'm seeing, I don't see veterans. If you just look at some of these people, these motherfuckers ain't serve a day in their life. Now, if it is that type of situation, then by all means, I would say, hey, yeah, these people need some help. If we're talking about mental illness. If we're talking about a motherfucker that deserved this, that, that decide, hey, I'm going to smoke something or, hey, I'm, I'm going to shoot something up, that's not a disease. People like to call that shit a disease. That's a choice. It becomes an addiction, but it's a choice. It's not a disease. We calling that shit a disease now in modern times, but in the 80s, we had what, 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 crack whores. That's what they was calling black women, crack whores. Yeah, yeah. They was giving yeah, birth yeah. to crack babies. All the black men yeah. was either was either drug addicts or they was or drug dealers. Mm -hmm. So I just find it hard to have sympathy, especially when you see shit like this going on. These ain't motherfuckers with mental issues. That's calculating. We're gonna drive a truck through the window to try and drag out the ATM. That's calculating. <laughs> so I can feed my Jones. Nah, man. Nah. So I, I'm, I, on, on that point, I, I don't disagree with you whatsoever. On a veteran, on a veteran point, I don't agree. I don't disagree with you because a lot of them cats. Let me tell you something. I know guys over there that seen some shit, man. It was motherfuckers, you know, that had to deal with me when I got injured. Who seen what happened to me? Who had to take my ass back to base to the medics? That shit, that 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 shit builds trauma up in anyone. Never mind the people who just work at the hospital over in D.C. up at Walter Reed. They ain't even been over there. But think about how you would feel. Think about what that does to a mind when all day, every day, you work on injured veteran, injured veteran, combat wounded veteran. Yeah. It, it, it's got to fuck with you. You know what I mean? So I'm with you on that one. That's, it's, it's a burnout. Right. It's like with the, the hospitals and the nurses now with COVID. Especially for them to see it spiking right. again. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, we just went through hell. And it's like, I didn't put myself and my family in jeopardy, you know what I mean, to fight this battle. And you got folks still ignorant. Like, I ain't, you know, I'm going to take some shit that's, never mind, I don't want to say nothing because I don't want to get on, put in time out <laughs> again. So, yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, realistically, there's a social uh, safety net that disappeared in the 80s. Um, that, that alleviated, alleviated some of, the, some of this problem. I, I, when, they when they got rid of uh, uh, mental, mental institutions, institutions in the eighties and, and flooded the streets with these people, I mean, you know, it's it's been a problem. I agree with you. A growing problem since. I agree with you. I mean, look what happened yeah. in. Uh, this is sorry to cut you off. But look, but well, look what happened in mm -hmm. Chicago when they knocked down the, you know, the the the, the buildings, the projects. Wonder why you know the murder rate is so high. There you go. You know, you got all these dudes that got to di disperse to different sides mm -hmm. of the city. Yeah. And now that's it's exactly a war zone what it is. when it was just mm -hmm. concentrated in one central area. It's like y'all, y'all right. traded. Y'all wanted to regen, uh, you know, <clears throat> to regen, uh, yeah, gentrify, right. gentrify, gentrify, the, gentrify right. the, the neighborhood or whatever. And this is what you're going to get. That's the trade off. You want to knock down these buildings to put up these uh, condos and, uh, you know, Guess what? The gang's got to relocate right. somewhere, yeah. and they're all through the city now. And and listen, listen, Cuddy, you you made another good point because along with me saying lock these motherfuckers up, me and my old lady were rapping about it, and that's one of the things I said. You know, 
there was a time when they had sanitar- sanitariums and asylums and shit like that. Yeah. Now, of course, they close them up because, yeah. you know, you got motherfuckers running experiments on these people. But I'm saying th- there's nothing wrong with them places with a certain amount of, of, of regulation. You know what I'm saying? Like, these motherfuckers should not be allowed to roam freely, especially if they got mental issues. You guys remember mm-hmm. experiments on military. You said, well, "Oh, of course, of course, <laughs> yeah. absolutely." Because prisoners, they never, they never stop running, running experiments on motherfuckers. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is this: you, you got, you guys know what's that over there, the north side, or right around, uh, uh, what is that, Crandall Park? What's that? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, a yeah, lot yeah, of those yeah, homes over there would be for, oh yeah, oh, yeah. mentally unstable yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah, one on my block. Oh, yeah, my man. That's what I, that's what I worked at for yeah. during high school. A couple of my people owned uh, a couple of those houses or whatever. And yeah, we ran you know dinner to each and every house. But yeah, and it's it's real. Their family members can't deal with them, and they sign over their right their checks. You know, they pay their rent. They get three meals a day. They get an allowance. You know, and there's a lockdown. You know, doors are locked at you know a specific time. Uh, there's somebody there to get to disperse their medic medication, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, all through all it's us on every side of town. It's just you probably just know about the ones that's on the right. north side because it's a lot right. of them over there. And but you yeah, know, well, my mom used to work at one of those places when I was a young and young. And mm-hmm. what I'm saying is this again: I don't want to sound heartless because we all could be in a different position in our lives. But what I'm saying is. These motherfuckers is out getting high. They all in the streets. They, you know, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm I'm just completely noble with what I'm saying because it is a fucking eyesore to me. I don't like every time I go to motherfucking out to look at something beautiful. It's a booger there, and that booger is a homeless motherfucker screaming at the top of his lungs or some shit. Everybody just ignoring this motherfucker. But at least when a place like an asylum or something like that. Three three hots in the cot, some medication to calm them, something like that, man. That's just me. Again, you know what I'm saying? Each man is responsible for whatever comes out of their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, the views and the, the, views and the right opinions on. that come from old painless don't represent the views and opinions of one Mr. Tank Truck and Mr. Cola, <laughs> god damn it. So. You know, y'all gonna get a notice like y'all keep the show going if y'all kick that motherfucker off. Three <laughs> people do gonna look real different. Yeah, well, ain't nobody paying up. Yeah. We ain't got nothing to worry about. Formerly low is three the hard way. That's right, Frank Truck and MP. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Nah, but seriously though, man. I mean, this is a this problem, is a problem that, that capitalism has created. And capitalism, okay. capitalism, capitalism, capitalism needs, needs to come up with a solution. They come, okay. they come up with a solution everywhere else. You know, now is, now is the time. There's no money in it. There's no money in it. There's money in the you know keeping they keeping they foot on the neck. Yeah. You know, there you go. They, they they're fine. They like they they could drive right past that. You know that's why they got gated communities. Right, mm-hmm. right on. Right on. You know what I mean? So yeah, I mean it's it's, it's there's no money in it. And helping people. No, <laughs> there's no real money. I guarantee you, if you move so, those uh, homeless encampment count uh, encampments towards the towards rich neighborhoods, this problem, this problem be solved be pretty fucking. Hey, quick. let me let me say that. Easy. Let me say Easy. let me say this. You got a place called Walnut Creek out here, and a bunch of other places. Do you think you see motherfuckers sleeping under the bridges and on the side of the highways out there? Mm-hmm. Again, right? Gated communities, HOAs. Oh, them motherfuckers, that, gr- that's 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 where the them money motherfuckers is. Motherfuckers' grass is greener, and and here's the thing, <laughs> we pay more taxes over here. That's the shit that we like, but it ain't it ain't you know it ain't that complexion for the protection. Now it ain't all of us. It's majority uh Asian Hispanic over here, more Asian than anything in us. Few of us over here, but it's just like not, trash and shit. Man, look, yeah. Man, look. <laughs> You're like, don't get me started, don't. man. I could, I could go on. We could do the whole show about what the hell's going on outside my go. window. Hey, hey, what if they, they <laughs> did solve the homeless encampment problems? You're going uh-huh. to lose out on a lot. 
elbow fights. Elbow <laughs> <laughs> bump fights. Bump fights. Bump fights. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to miss that random right. yelling <laughs> just for no damn, right. for no damn reason. You're going to miss that, man. Oh, I can't sleep without it. Right. <laughs> I was supposed to wake up, man. That damn hobo was supposed to yell right. and wake my ass up. Instead man. of a, uh, what's this? that? Instead so, of cock a doodle yeah. doo. Ah! <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> man, fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to miss uh, that, okay. man. You're going to miss it when it's okay. gone. <laughs> Down to the next one. All right, man. Hey, man, did you get that clip about old girl uh, Karen Civil? Oh.